So if you are a social media content creator or an influencer or an entrepreneur who's building your business largely on social media or entirely on social media, I'm gonna show you why that is extremely dangerous and what you should be focusing on doing instead, right? So there's two things I wanna show you in this video, first of all. The first thing is you might've seen a few days ago, President Trump mentioned that he wants to ban TikTok from the US, right? He wants to ban it from being used in the US. And I'm personally not a fan of TikTok, but I know a ton of my friends and my family members, and there's a lot of creators and entertainers on the platform that are pissed off, right? So I'm not gonna dive into the politics around why Trump is doing this. Uh, you can Google search that for yourself, uh, but I'm gonna illustrate a different point, right? So this is number one. President Trump wants to wipe TikTok out from the US, from being used. The second thing is you might've seen about a week ago, uh, some of the biggest tech companies were in court. In front of Congress, they were getting grilled. I was actually surprised at how much they were getting grilled uh, over just having too much power, right? These big tech companies, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, they censor everything that we see or that we don't see, that we hear, that we don't hear. If they don't like a certain opinion that's out there, they can click delete or they can remove it. If they don't like your profile at any point, let's just say your entire business is built on the platform and they don't like a post that you made and you've been building your business there for years, uh, they could at any point click the delete button on your account if they don't like something that you say one day, okay? Uh, so these big tech companies, what I'm trying to say here is they have all the power, right? They have the power to wipe you out at any given point, any given time, uh, if they just don't like what you say, right? So they have all this power and you can see here, President Trump, he wants to get rid of TikTok in the US and I wanna tell you why, this is exactly why you shouldn't be building your entire business on social media platforms, right? It's a great tool to help you grow your business, to help you drive traffic, but if your business is 100% on social media where if they took away any one of these platforms and you can no longer make a living, then you're doing it wrong. And I wanna show you exactly what to do instead so that you can future-proof your business for whatever happens, right? If all these social media platforms get wiped out for whatever reason, uh, you're still gonna have a business. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that here. So I'm gonna hop over to my handy dandy whiteboard here, and I'm gonna walk through the simple sales funnel that I use to grow and scale my business and to really future-proof it from any of the crazy stuff that's happening this year and next year and beyond, right? I mean, this year is pretty crazy. So uh, what are you looking at here? Well, you're looking at the social media platforms that I use for my business. So I, use, I have a YouTube channel, obviously, that's what you're watching right now. I have some YouTube ads that are running that are driving people to a product that I sell. And then I have a Facebook group, right? A private Facebook group of other uh, entrepreneurs who are looking to grow and scale their own online service business. Uh, so let's just say my YouTube channel, for whatever reason, YouTube didn't like a video, right? Maybe they didn't like this video and decided to shut my account down. Or they didn't like one of my ads. Maybe I had too many Lambos in it or something and they shut down my ad account. Or let's just say my Facebook group, for whatever reason, Facebook didn't like something I said. And, and this has happened to me before. They actually deleted my one of my personal profiles. I had to create another one. And for whatever reason, let's just say they wiped out my Facebook group, okay? Uh, would I still have a business? In my case, the answer is yeah. I mean, it would suck. Yeah, it would definitely suck for a little while if they, if they wiped all these platforms out. But I would still have a business. I'm gonna tell you why in a second, right? So that's the first thing is you wanna ask yourself if Whatever channels you're using, could be TikTok, could be Twitter, could be Instagram, Snapchat. If any of those got wiped out, would you still have a business? Would you still be making money, okay? And if not, then you really need to pay attention to this video and really need to follow what I'm covering here because uh, this is gonna protect you and your business so that if anything happens to these platforms, like if Trump decides to get rid of TikTok, you will still be able to make money, okay? So uh, what you wanna do is, or what at least what I do is I drive all of these channels to an asset that I own, right? Something that is protected. It, it can't be wiped out by social media, can't be wiped out because I have an opinion on something. It is an asset that I own. And that is, as you probably guessed, my email list, right? And that is the ugliest arrow I've ever seen. So people on my YouTube channel, they're being driven to my email list. People on my YouTube ads, they're being driven to my email list. People on my Facebook group, they're being driven to my email list. This is an asset that I own. 
meaning it can't be wiped out from any of these social media platforms just because of something I say, right? Now this email list, what you wanna think of it is, or as, is kinda of like your own world, like your own talk show radio. So every day, and I'm gonna show you right here, I have 3,000 and 3,331 contacts on this list. These are pretty much all customers. And what I wanna do is show you every day I am in their ear, right? I am sending them an email. Today is the 3rd of August and you can see every day I am sending an email. Uh, TDE means the daily email. You can see we're on 128. Uh, so I'm sending an email every day here and I have, whenever I launch a new product, I have a launch sequence for that as well. So sometimes I'll send more than one email a day. So uh, what am I doing here? Well, I'm, I'm bringing them into my, my world, my email list, and then I'm warming them up to my brand. I'm, I'm building that bond with them and I'm building up my brand, my authority. I'm getting them to know, like, and trust me. And I'm also offering my products and services to people on my list. So let's jump back into here, the whiteboard. If any of these platforms get wiped out, I still have this list of 3,331 customers and I can just go out and find a different way to get people on my list, right? It could be, let's see, Facebook, YouTube. If I got wiped out from these, maybe maybe I do go to TikTok, even though I don't like TikTok. Maybe I'll go to Snapchat. Maybe I'll go to Instagram. Maybe I'll just do uh, list swaps with other people who serve my audience and I can, you know, I can swap lists with them. I can send something to their list. They can send something to my list uh, and so on and so forth, right? So there's so many ways to grow your list but the, the main thing you want to th you think about here is this is an asset that you own, right? This email list, no one can take that away from you based off of something you said that they don't like. Uh, I mean, the, the platforms, like I'm using Active Campaign here, that's the software here. They can shut you down if you're sending like spam and you're sending out crap and you're trying to scam people, of course, right? Uh, but if you are being, if you're a legit business owner, you're a legit content creator, influencer, any kind of entrepreneur, and you are consistent and you're building that relationship with your list, uh, this is an asset that the, that you own and it can't be shut down by the, the social media powers that be, okay? And again, what I can do from there is I can sell, I have multiple different products and services. I can sell products, product or service one during one week or one month or a certain day even. I can sell product or service number two. I can sell product or service number three and then so on and so forth, right? I can survey my audience and my customers and see what else they need, what other problems or pain points that they have that I can help to solve. And this email list generates for this business, this is my information business, this business generates a little over $30,000 per month, right? So around eight to $10 per subscriber on this list, okay? So this asset that I own, I can continue to grow it over time. It doesn't matter what I say to my email list, unless I'm you know, spamming them and sending them crappy stuff. I'm not gonna get shut down. I don't have to worry about that. I can have my own opinions. I can share my own insights, my tips, my tricks, my strategies, insights, and of course my opinions. And I can share that to my list and I don't have to be afraid of my business getting wiped out overnight because of this asset that I own, okay? And it's so simple. Uh, everyone always talks about building a list, building a list, building a list, right? But I really want to show you how to do that, how to start, grow, and scale uh, your business using email. So whether you are an information product creator or info publisher, or you maybe you are a service provider, or maybe you're just brand new to business and you wanna sell affiliate marketing offers, right? I'm gonna show you over the next four weeks, I'm gonna create a series called the Email Marketing Rainmaker Series, all about how to start, grow, and scale your business using email. Or yeah, scale an existing business, right? So whether you're starting new or scaling an existing business, this four, it's probably gonna be three or four videos or so over the next month. Uh, of August, it's gonna show you exactly how to do that, right? How to grow, start growing, scale your business with email. Uh, so I'm also gonna probably have a video in there. If you're, if you're wanting to offer this as a service for clients, like actually writing emails for clients, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can do that as well, okay? So whether you are selling your own stuff or you're selling stuff for clients or you're selling affiliate offers, this series is going to be huge for you. And I haven't found anything like it on YouTube, which is why I want to create it. I, I saw a big gap here. And especially now more than ever, with all these social media platforms getting heat and censoring and shutting people's accounts down for speaking out, uh, I think this is a more important thing than ever, building an email list and using that to future-proof and protect your business, right? Protect your profits and protect your income. So uh, that is coming up. I hope you guys are excited for this series. Uh, because it's really going to help you build your business and it's going to help you protect your business. And I'm excited to roll this out to you so that you can start to implement and take action in your own business.
Now, if this is interesting to you, what I'm also gonna do, I'm opening up a new Facebook group specifically around email marketing called the Email Marketing Rainmakers. There's gonna be a link somewhere below in the comments. If you wanna join and you wanna keep up to date with email marketing, I'll be sharing tips, tricks, and insights in that group, specifically, again, around email. So yeah, the link's gonna be below somewhere. You can join there. And uh, yeah, I hope you are looking forward to this series, the Email Marketing Rainmakers, and I will see you in the first video next week. Take care.